everyone, it's Moose, and thank you so much for joining me back here. Today we are going to do my June wrap up for 2022. I read six or seven books in the month of June, which I'm pretty happy with. So we're gonna go over those today. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of your time. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of my time. Let's just jump into it. First up, I have Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This is book six, five or six. It depends on how you read this one and uh, what's the name of it? Empire of Storms. Some people tandem read them. I personally read Empire of Storms and then I read this one. This one is all about Kale. I actually like his character, so I actually enjoyed this one. If you don't like Kale's character, you probably won't like this one because Aelin and Rowan and um, Lysandra, you know, all of those characters are not in this one. It's just Kale and Nezrin, and we have a new character, Irene, I think it's her name. So yeah, if you don't like him, you probably won't like this one. I'm not gonna go into it a whole lot because it is later in the series it's almost towards the end but i liked it slower than the other ones especially after reading empire of storms that one is very fast-paced action-based uh, a lot of stuff happens in that one not a whole lot of that in this one this one is a lot about uh, just kale as a character his development his recovery that kind of thing so i liked it though not my favorite in the series but i liked it Next up, I have another book that I'm not really gonna go a whole lot into because I did a whole reading vlog on it. I have It Ends With Us by Colleen, Colleen Hoover. I keep doing that, I keep wanting to say Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover, a romance book, not what I was expecting. Everybody hypes this up and um, says it's super great. It is a good book. When I read a romance book, I want something more lighthearted. Uh, it's my fault for not really searching and looking into what this one was really about but it wasn't that if anything I would say this is a a book about domestic abuse with romance in it which is not really what I'm looking for again if you want more in-depth thoughts uh, I have a whole reading vlog on it you can go check out next up I have a what a, what a, a clean romance recommended to me by Aaron over at Aaron reads Ripley reads Aaron Ripley I can't remember what her channel name is right now, but I will link it down below. Ellie's in the background laughing. Uh, but I have To Sir With Love by Lauren Lane. She knows that I'm kind of on a rom-com, clean romance kick right now, and so she recommended Lauren Lane to me. Uh, I have another one of her books that I plan on reading soon. Super sweet. Basically, the premise of this one is there are two, our two main characters, kind of, uh, our main character is on like a dating app, and it's based around never seeing the person. So there are no pictures on this dating app. You don't really base base your attraction on appearance. Uh, you get to know that person first, and then if you decide to meet up, you can meet up then. And so she discovers that she really likes this guy on this dating app, but she's never seen his face. Um, and so she kind of goes throughout her, her period within this book. Uh, kind of pining over this, over this man that she doesn't know and she kind of upholds all the other men that she meets to this standard and lo and behold she meets another man and she's kind of torn because she really likes the guy she's met on the dating app she also kind of it's kind of like an enemy to lover she also is kind of interested in this other guy that she's met but she doesn't like him at the same time for um, personal reasons so it was cute it was cute it was clean it was cute Thank you, Erin, for recommending it. <laughs> Next up, I have two books I'm super excited to talk about. I'm not gonna talk about them too much, though, because I'm sure people are tired of hearing me talk about this author. Even Ellie's tired of hearing me talk about it. Uh, we have The Buy-In and we have The Bluff by Emma St. Clair. These are two books, the only two books that are out so far in the Grand Brothers series, the Small Town series. If you've been watching my channel lately, you have heard about Emma St. Clair. She's one of my new favorite authors that I found this year. She writes closed door, clean romances that are super witty and funny. I love her over the top uh, plot points. I love her characters who are often over the top as well. I love her writing style. I love everything about her. I made a video all about her love cliche series if you wanna go check that one out. Um, I'm super excited for the next one to come out. The Bluff is new. The Bluff came out this month, last month in June. Uh, so that one is new. Read it. Her next one comes out next year, hopefully sooner. Super excited for it. Basically, in the buy-in, we have our main character, Pat and Lindy. They had dated before. This is kind of like a second chance romance, which I typically don't 
it's it's typically not my favorite trope, but I really like this one. I really like Pat's character. Kind of reminds me a lot of my husband. He's goofy. He's quirky. Liked it. And the bluff, it's kind of a fall for your boss, slightly enemies to lovers romance. They don't, they're not really enemies, but they're very aggressive towards each other in the beginning. Didn't like that one as much. I definitely prefer the buy-in, but they were both good. I like them both. I also read Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This was kind of my last hurrah for Emily Henry, if you will. I read Beach Read. I read The People We Met on Vacation, The People We Meet on Vacation. Didn't really care much for either of those, but this one said it was specifically a rom-com, so I decided to give it a try. Didn't hate it. Also didn't love it though. I did a reading vlog on this. Should be up after this video, so maybe come back to check that one out. Again, didn't hate it. I liked the beginning of it a lot better than I liked the second half of it. The second half of this book really felt like her other two books to me, more so than a rom-com. To me, her books kind of feel like just fiction stories with romance thrown into them and that's really what I felt like Beach Read was. It's what I felt like the people we meet on vacation are, or was, is. <laughs> that's kind of how I felt like this one was. The first half of the book I really got that rom-com kind of feeling and then the second half I felt like was more focused on her... <gasps> I felt like it was more focused on her relationship with her sister rather than the romance itself. So. Didn't hate it, didn't love it, won't keep it from my shelf, I plan on selling it. So, again, I did a reading vlog on it. If you want more in-depth thoughts, uh, go check that out when it comes out. <laughs> the last book I have is another rom-com. I felt like most of my reading in the month of, of June was rom-coms. Both of my kiddos are just in a mommy mood today. In a mommy mood today. <laughs> uh, the last book I have is Compared by Courtney Kiesel. This one was cute. This was what this this was also another clean romance. And this one, our main character, our female protagonist, is a teacher who has a student. She teaches second grade, and she ends up uh, kind of falling in love with her student's dad. But it's against the school rules. She specifically signed a contract saying she would not date or kind of involve herself with any of the parents. And so there's that whole conflict going on throughout the whole story. Meanwhile, her student's dad, the, the man she's interested in, recently lost his wife about two years ago. His wife died in a car accident. She has also lost her mom. So she's constantly comparing herself to this other woman who she feels like she can't live up to. Her dad starts seeing someone and she keeps comparing this new woman to her mom. That's why it's called Compared. There's just a bunch of comparisons. Super cute. I did like the beginning of this book a lot better than the, the ending of it. Um, I get that grief is a hard thing to write. It's a hard thing to deal with. It's very personable or personal and everyone experiences it differently. But the second half, the last part of this book just was not as fun to read just because of all of that, I guess. Um, but made it more realistic, I suppose did not detract from the story. I enjoyed the whole thing. I found myself wanting to read this book. It was that good. It was pretty good. I liked it. Super cute. Again, clean romance, but still gave you enough to make you want to read it. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. So there we go. Those were all the books that I read in June. I was pretty happy with my June reading this month, or last month, I guess, because it is July. Uh, I was pretty happy with my June reading. Uh, seven books is pretty good for me. Seven books is great. I'm happy for that. I am starting a new uh, grad school program in August, so hopefully July will be a good reading month, but I don't know how August is going to go or the rest of this year. It'll be a learning curve. We'll see how it goes. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I am so, so thankful for you, and we'll be back here next time, guys. See ya! It's mowing. It's mowing day.